Most people think of water, and in particular the sea, when waves are mentioned. If you look at the motion of a wave, it appears to be travelling in a definite direction. But does it carry anything with it? We can do an experiment to look at what happens when we generate a wave by dropping a stone in a pond. As the stone hits the water and sinks, it creates a set of circular waves that radiate out from the point of impact. The waves can move objects in the water or at its edge. To do this, they need to possess energy. So where does this energy come from? Well, some of the kinetic energy the rock has as it hits the pond is converted into energy that is carried away by the waves. So waves carry energy. Do waves also carry water along with them? To see, let's zoom in on the actual surface and pick out some points to observe. If you look carefully, you'll see that the water actually only moves up and down. It does not travel along with the wave. Waves carry energy without carrying matter. Now let's have a look at our stone dropping experiment again. The wave has to travel to reach an object before it can act upon it, and it takes time to cover this distance. So the wave does carry energy, but only at a certain speed, and this speed depends on what kind of wave it is and what it is travelling through. For example, light is a kind of wave that travels very quickly, and we use it to see the rock falling into the water. Sound is also a wave. It travels much slower than light, and we use the sound to hear the splash the rock makes as it hits the water. Both of these waves travel faster than the water wave. This is why we see the rock hit the water slightly before we hear the splash, and why we are aware of both the sight and sound of this before we feel the waves that are produced. 